I think it's pretty clear that you would say that you don't trust President Obama on a, a range of issues. Um, I think that's fair, fair to say. say, right? So when it comes to his uh, ability to get the fast track authority for NAFTA, would you be willing to grant that to him? This is an important question for two reasons. One, he, he's being asked, do you trust President Obama? And his answer is no. And two is, do you support giving him, this guy you don't trust, unconstitutional authority? When you have a trade deal, okay, a trade pact, that's in essence a treaty. And when you have a treaty, it's supposed to be passed by the Senate with a two-thirds vote. So the question is, do you, constitutional attorney, who doesn't trust President Obama, do you support giving Obama the authority to break the Constitution? And his answer is very telling. I am a strong supporter of free trade. I think free trade benefits America. I think free trade produces jobs and economic growth here at home. I think America prospers when we trade, when we open up new markets for our exports. I think it benefits manufacturers, it benefits farmers, it benefits ranchers to open up new markets. And so one of the few areas where I think there's some potential for bipartisan agreement in Washington is working together to expand free trade and to open up new markets for our manufacturers and farmers and ranchers. So you would give him the FTA to pass TV? So you would give him the FTA to pass TV? So you would give him the FTA to pass TPP? Uh, I, I, I support Fast Track, yes. Uh, I, I, I support Fast Track, yes. An important message from Donald Trump and Americans for Limited Government. While I'm a Republican, right now some in the Republican Party are working overtime to hand more power to President Obama. These same people are turning their backs on the American workers and businesses. It's unbelievable. I learned a long time ago, a bad deal is far worse than no deal at all. And the Obama Trans-Pacific Partnership and Fast Track are a bad, bad deal. For American businesses, for workers, for taxpayers, it's a huge set of handouts for a few insiders that don't even care about our great, great America. Congress has to stand up and defeat this raw power grab. With the dismal Obama track record, why should a Republican Congress give him more power and gut the Constitution to do it? It's just crazy. Tell your congressman and senator, vote no on Fast Track.